What is up guys, Freedom one here, welcome to my live reaction for Haiku Chapter 257, Just and Proper. Alright guys, so last week, we basically had uh, Coach Ukai say to Hinata, you're basically going to take care of one, excuse me, one of the Miyu brothers. I believe it's Osamu. And then we're going to have Suki take care of Ayu, the main one, the kind of the flamboyant one, right? So we had also had Suki basically go up and block there quick. Like, not just one touch and, and go out, but shut it completely down. All right, so that was a pretty epic finish last week. All right, so let's get straight into this chapter. Obviously, currently, we got page one, we got Hinata in, Nishinoya out, Tsukashima serve what will become of Karasuna, who is chasing after one point in the first set. Our current rotation is Suki serving, Azumara and Samurai in the back line. We've got Kageyama, Tanaka and Hinata at the front. For Inarizaki, we've got Ojira, Mia, Osamu and Suna in their front line. And we've got Uki, Umini or Akagi. Uh, that's like the thing. They got Mia Atsumu, and then we got Ginjima in their back line. All right. So, Karasuno High School member change in number seven Kinoshita. Out number eleven Sukushima. All right. <laughs> no matter how many times I do this, I just can't get used to it. All right. So Kinoshita's coming in. I think he's coming in to be a pinch server. Alright, what's more, we've seen our opponents featured on TV and in magazines and stuff, you know. Meanwhile, the most I've ever gotten is an extra in the background of a weather report in Sendai. <laughs> hey you, Kinoshita. Kinoshita Hisagi, age 17. Huh? <laughs> He's like, what? So it's Coach Uka. <laughs> He's like, why the full name? The kind of Inazaki receives are Ginjima Hitoshi, age 17, Mio Osamu, age 16, and Akagi Michinari, age 18. That's all! <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> what? Huh? Hmm? Alright. The opponents aren't university students. They're not working adults. Nor are they some aliens. Okay. So he's gone up for the serve. Whoosh. Nice serve. Set that Mia Atu mates his move. Huh? I'll leave one of the twins to you. If I asked you to pull off one of Tsukushima blocks right now, that'd be impossible. <laughs> so it looks like we're finding out the plan that Coach Ukai came up for Hinata. Alright? He's just like, ah! I love it. It's awesome. But your reflexes are fast. But there are times where you fall for your opponent's decoys. Hook, line, and sicker. Am I wrong? I know you've been putting in the time and working hard on your read blocks lately. So, yes. But just this time, Hinata, can you become like Inoka? Okay. Alright. You know, alright. So, Inoka's. Got a different style. He wa watches the uh, set go up and then he goes and jumps. All right. So that's taking advantage of Hinata's speed and quick reflexes. I like it. I like the plan. So in our Rizaki High School, first time out. In our in our case, built on the premise of Hinata's crazy movements, the other spikers will make their move. Hinata himself will unexpectedly appear as he pleases. All right. The silver lining here is the twins' quick attack is restricted to Mia and Osamu's original position on the right. My gut tells me their quick attack is something they pull off on a whim during the match, so there aren't any recordings of it. Try hard. <laughs> All right. So Hinata will mark Mia Osamu tightly. In exchange, we'll have the two other people marking the attackers from left and center. Let's do this! All right. Okay, interesting. I like this. 
If we're talking about blocks that have a run-up, Hinata's Apex is one of the team's highest. When you add in his lightning-fast reflexes, I'm pretty certain he can give them a run for their money. Seems like a good fit! <laughs> Sukashima-kun, there's no need to get all jealous of me because I got saddled with such an important role. <laughs> You totally read my mind. So you should put a little more effort into your comebacks, will ya? <laughs> that's Tanaka. Oh, that's awesome. Nice surf, can I see that? We've got some squeaking. Alright. Ideally, we'd end up doing it like Day Tech, where no matter what attack is thrown our way, a wall can be put up with two or more players using the read block technique. However, our team, as it's comprised, now hasn't reached that level yet. We get bamboozled by the twins' quick attack, and our own defense crumbles. Then we'd be that be fatal for us. I've seen that exact scenario scenario played out time and time again. All right, there are two more rotations until Mia Osamu gets rotated out of the back line. How can we minimize the points lost? The sitter Mia Osamu makes his move. We've got this. Hmm. Right. Hinata is committing to Mia Otsumu. Oh! He's got the block! Dude! He blocked him! He blocked him! So he's got... But... Huh? I stopped it! Score! 164 centimeter has blocked out 183! Comes in high school for the first time! For, have for the first time drawn in! Yeah! Fucking Hinata blocked him! Dude! That is awesome! Oh, no, he's not. So everyone's good. That was a tough one, right? You're clearly the one who's most surprising. He <laughs> bounces like completely. That just renewed my awe of his jumping pad. He just appeared in my line of sight, sailing out of thin air. A commit block that caught me off guard. Yeah, I know, right? Giving Hinata a man to man assault to combat the twins' quick attack. Kation sure has thought this through. This ain't some practice match, you know. Are we going to be okay? You mean exactly because this is a practice match, right? If they continue hesitating, then in that time, the point gap may wind by another two or three points. If that happens, there'll be no catching up. There's no other choice but to just do it. You know how to sure pull that one off? Yeah! Just now, just now though, that same kind of like an ambush. Please stick onto them. Like clue from now on. Alright. So he's gone up for the thing. He knows he's gone up and he's got over the top of him. Mm -hmm. That was a clean score just now by Mia Osamu. They won't be they won't back down the fair. Just to drive the point home. Atamukun does it twice in a row. Kanasuna member trade in number eleven Tsukushima. Out number seven Kinoshita. Alright. Nice serve, nice serve. I couldn't even try an underarm serve against their setter. I should have aimed for an even riskier spot. Okay. Alright, so Hinata's you know, gone up. One touch. Chance ball. Yeah. Come on, at least a, a one touch. Yeah. Oh, his jump was so direct and right in your face too. Well, in a one-on-one -on -one showdown, the spiker always has the upper hand. Liber Libero Nishinoya keeps the ball in the air. <laughs> ball flies directly above the net. Our opponents aren't university <laughs> nor working adults, nor are they some aliens. But I know they also aren't your run-of-the-mill high schoolers either. They've worked harder and accumulated much more experience than I have. Not all chances are created equal. But still... They exist, even more so for our oddball first years. Oh, so they both got up. Oh, damn, he really does get off the ground. That said, there's nothing more to it really. All right. And now he pushes through the joust at the net. All right. So he's just putting that he's a lot more powerful than what Hinata is. Height difference matters every now and again. Rather than height being the issue, it's more about 
Hinata being pretty garbage when it comes to battles at the net, right? Are you backing him up here or are you trash talking him? Nice kill. So we got some more cheering. The point difference widens once again for Karasuna High School. So 20 points to 18. Give us a. Oh, what's this? It's much less resistant than I thought there'd be. Inaraki High School break. Hinata versus Mia Otsumu. Alright. Alright, guys. So that is the end of the chapter, guys. And a pretty good chapter at that. Alright. Anyway, guys, that is all from me. As always, if you enjoyed the chapter or if you enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up. It will be greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, smack that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It's completely free. And we all like free shit. And as always, guys, I'm free no one. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you guys with another review. Peace. Come <laughs> on.